If you're looking to create your first NFT, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. The first step to create your NFT is to create a crypto wallet. A few different crypto wallets to choose from. Today, we're gonna to be walking through how to set up a MetaMask crypto wallet. The first thing you wanna do is search on Google and download the MetaMask Chrome extension. After that's done downloading, you're gonna click on the extension to begin making a new wallet. The first thing it's going to ask you is if you're new to MetaMask, you're going to hit yes, set up a new wallet. The most important part is to write down your secret recovery phrase, and we recommend doing it in two different places and do not store it digitally. Once you have it written down, you then have to put the words back into the system in the order they gave you. After you click all done, your MetaMask is now set up. Step two, buy some Ethereum. You're going to need some to create your collection. One of the easier ways to buy Ethereum is on an exchange platform like Coinbase. Once you have your account set up, you're going to scroll down, you're going to hit Ethereum, and then you're going to go trade and then you're gonna hit buy ETH. I'm just gonna do $5 for this transaction, and then you hit buy now. So the next thing we're gonna do is transfer our Ethereum to our MetaMask wallet. So the first thing you're gonna do is hit Ethereum. Then the next thing you do is hit your balance, and then you're gonna hit this share function right here, and then you'll type in the amount you wanna send. So I'm gonna send this amount. And now here you need to put your MetaMask public wallet code. Now it gives you a breakdown of what you're sending and the gas fees that are associated with it. Now that we have Ethereum and it's sent to our wallet, we're ready to create our collection on OpenSea. There's many marketplaces to mint your NFTs. For this tutorial, we're gonna use OpenSea.io. Once you're at OpenSea.io, you're gonna scroll up and hit the little icon at the top. Then gonna say, connect your wallet. You're gonna hit MetaMask. If MetaMask doesn't pop up, you're gonna hit the Chrome extension and then you just need to log in. Once your MetaMask is connected to OpenSea, you're gonna hover over your profile and go down to My Collections. Once you're there, you're gonna create a new collection. To create your collection, you're gonna upload a logo image, a feature image, your banner image, name your collection, and then describe it. Lastly, you can choose which tokens. For this, I just left it as Ethereum, and then how you want your NFTs displayed on OpenSea. Once that's filled out, you'll hit create and your collection is made. Now that you have your collection made, the next step is to create your art. For this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how I created my collection, Friendly Reminders. It's a collection of meaningful reminders that I put all across New York City. I run a time lapse and then I create one of one video NFTs. As a reminder, an NFT can be any digital file. But what if you're a traditional artist and you create oil paintings? Yes, you can still create NFTs. What you do is you scan it or take a photo of your art and then you have the option of giving the physical art to the owner of the NFT if that's what you wanna do. To make your piece, you're gonna to go to your collection and then you're gonna go up to the top and hit add item. The first thing you do is upload your file and then you'll name it. The next step is to add your description. After you add your description, you have the option to add a property, levels, stats, and unlockable content. Unlockable content is something that will reveal after someone has bought your NFT. You can add a link or maybe a new NFT in there. It's up to you. Once you're done filling out everything, you're gonna hit create and you're gonna mint your first NFT. Don't worry, if you forgot something, you can always edit it in the future. Now the last step you have to do is list it for sale, which is gonna cost you that gas fee. So go up to the top, you'll hit sell. This is where you can either choose a timed auction or a fixed price. For this, I'm just gonna use a fixed price. I'm gonna change the duration to one month. Once you're happy with this, you can hit complete listing and it's gonna bring up your MetaMask wallet. Once MetaMask is pulled up, you can see the total amount of how much it is to list this for sale. Once you hit confirm, it'll load and your first piece is up. And that's it, now you have your first NFT. One thing to note, if you're ever gonna move your NFTs, make sure you cancel the listing before you move them. The last thing that I suggest that you guys do is to buy a hardware wallet. In the description below is an article of how to buy these and how to set one up. I highly suggest that you guys do that. Thank you guys for watching. If you need any help, just drop a comment below and then visit our site for all things NFTs.